I just sat next to a Buddhist monk in the subway. How cool is that? And I got a secret picture. In the subway, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit also about the subway on how to handle that. But uh, yeah, there's guards that hang out in the subway station because you, you know we have like yellow lines that you shouldn't cross to get too close to the subway. Well, there they tell you like that guard will come down from his stand and go to you and say, "Go behind the yellow line." I haven't had it done to me, but I've seen the guards do it to other Chinese people. And every time you take the subway, so really take the subway because it's super convenient. It's really easy to do. It takes like the first time you need to get the hang of it, but it's really easy to do. Beijing is massive. It's huge. So you really need to do that to get around. And I think it's cheaper than taking a taxi all the time because you can, one, um, run into a lot of traffic. So even if taxis are cheap, it can run the meter. You can be stuck one hour in traffic really easily. So that, it's just better to take the subway. So what you want to do is you want to get this card. It's called a Yikatong card. So it's like a prepaid card. You put money on it. It costs 20 kwai to buy it, which is like $4 Canadian. And then you put money on it. Every time you go in the subway, you scan it. And when you come out of the subway, you scan it and the little screen deducts the, the rate. It's, right now it's like about 40 kwai a ride. And it tells you how much you have left. So it's really practical to have. Just make sure you don't lose it. So yeah, just make sure to keep your card with you because you're gonna need it to scan out and get out of the subway. I'm gonna try to remember to take a shot of what a uh, subway uh, entrance looks like, but it, I think it's called the D and there's a letter D. This is a subway entrance. Look for the logo that's right about here, kind of looks like a D inside of a circle. Make sure you know ahead of time which exit to take. They work with like alphabet letters, it's like exit A, B, C, D. So as long as you know which exit to take, it's pretty easy to navigate and get around. So I just wanted to show you guys another example of a subway station. You use, often have a map out here, one with a map of the system and a map of the area. And you get the, the name of the station here, the Chinese character. This is the symbol to remember that it's the subway. There's always several entrances often. You see one here, that's what they look like. This is where the one we're going into. Look for the D and they're called DT, right? The DTA. DTA is the name of the system. So little advice on traveling around in the subway by yourself while you are in Beijing. We're in the subway. So. We are in the subway and as you just heard they announce everything in Chinese and in English. Everything's also written in English. So this is a typical inside subway station. I just sat next to a Buddhist monk in the subway. How cool is that? And I got a secret picture. Same station, different line, line number two. So the stations are massive and here's the metro coming in. Uh, when you go into the subway, another job that's created, you have to go through a security check. It's nothing intense. Uh, you just go through like an x-ray machine and you put any bags that you have with you through a stand and you just walk through. Usually you don't have any problems. I'm switching my hands. My, my arm's getting tired. I'm talking a lot. Uh, a little piece of advice that my Chinese friend gave me is that, of course, I've been carrying water bottles with me all the time, drinking, and you're not supposed to bring water or liquids necessarily. Um, but what, I haven't had any problem because I'm a foreigner also, so they kind of don't care so much. But if you have a water bottle with you and you take the subway, take it out of your bag, hold it in your hand, and put your bag in the scan, walk through the arch with liquid in your hand, the worst case is that they can ask you to maybe take a sip to make sure that it is something that's drinkable. But uh, I haven't had any problems with that, but you really should do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Again, subscribe, leave a comment, and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you very soon. Bye.